The surgical pathology is different between the two conditions as well and in NEC we get segmental coagulative necrosis of the mucosa with focal hemorrhage as an evidence of ischemia. We have intramural gas uh, which is seen as nematosis on the radiographs with sloughing of the mucosa, submucosa and muscularis. The extent of intestinal involvement is variable and perforation can be in any portion from the jejunum to the ileum. In the case of surgical pathology in the SIP, you have preserved mucosal integrity, the mucosa is spared, there is subserosal thinning and necrosis of the muscularis. Perforation here typically is at the ileocecal junction. It can happen at other sites as I mentioned, but because the inspissated meconium typically gets stuck in the ileocecal junction, narrowest part, uh, this is the typical site of the perforation. There is a slight difference in the management as well. In a sick premature baby with perforation, most of the times the surgeon decides to do a peritoneal drain under local anesthesia. So this is the same whether it is SIP or NEC. However, the chances of the temporizing measure being the only measure needed is more with SIP. So 20 to 30 percent of babies with SIP need further surgery, while uh, more than 50 percent of the babies with NEC up to 70 percent may need open surgery. So uh, prognosis, which is uh, usually good with SIP as it's a local perforation. Uh, however, because this is in the high uh, extreme premature group, they are at high risk for overall complications. So we have to keep that in mind when we look at outcome. So I